Hey everyone again, this is David, and now I have another very interesting game I would like to show. Uh, um, this game is very unorthodox, and I kind of like that about games like this, and it involves a lot of, you know, choosing not to sacrifice a piece, and then choosing to sacrifice a piece, and I really like those kind of games. And you'll see what I mean, so I'm just going to get right into it. I am playing white, and I play e4. And then he does um, knight to d6, or c6. And this is actually a very interesting trap he has. Um, and I kind of, at this point, like, I, I want, I've had it done against me so many times. So I kind of just want to go with it just to have more experience with it. So I go ahead and play my pawn. Now, he doesn't really do what I was talking about since he does this move. But that's okay. Um, you know, I just wanted to see what it would be like. But anyway, since there's a lot of pressure on my pawn in e4... I move my knight, attacking the pawn and defending. So if he does trade off, it's just going to be my favor. So then he moves his bishop. Now here's where what I was talking about earlier. I move my knight up here, and the reason why, I mean, I know that now that my knight's there, it kind of pins it down, it can't move. But the thing is, is that I kind of want to be able to develop my minor pieces over my pawns. I don't want to just have all my pawns just sitting up there. So... After this, he moves his pawn, defending his bishop. Then I decide to just keep attacking. Like I could, like I said, I could bring my pawn up, to, you know, to a three and then make that bishop move around. But to me, that's just wasting time. Like I want to keep pushing forward. I'm a very, I would say, aggressive player. So now that his knight goes back, that pawn is no longer defended. So I take it. Then he moves his pawn. Now here's where I set up a really interesting trap. Um, I've actually played a game very similar to this, so I kind of knew what to do. I decided to play my pawn here, and the reason why is I'm sacrificing my knight in order to free up this f file. So that way, when I castle, my rook will be eyeing down this weakness for the king. So hopefully he does it, and then he does. This is the one trap he actually falls for. And okay, so then I do it. Now I have this completely free space. So now I just need to get my bishop out of the way. He moves his pawn, I'm guessing to free up some, uh, some space for his bishop. So then I move my bishop here, forcing him to act, either move his bishop or move his pawn. He moves his pawn, thankfully. And then I bring my pawn here. I mean my uh, bishop here. And the reason, because I know he's just going to chase me, which he does. And the reason why is I don't mind if he takes actually my bishop. And if he does, then I'm just going to take with my knight and then move up. And then I'm going to threaten him and check me, which you'll see what I mean soon. But instead of doing that, I, I don't know if he saw through this, but he actually, oh, first I just had to castle, of course, because I want to no longer have this knight pinned down, so I can move it if he does take that bishop. So then he does this, and I'm surprised. I don't know if he saw that I could put him in checkmate. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's fine. So then I decide to move my queen to now really threaten this right here. Now, what I'm kind of hoping that he would do is, okay, now that he put his pawn here, I was kind of hoping that he would put his pawn here. And the reason why is because I actually thought that that would have been a really good spot for him, and I was kind of planning on it. And I kind of wanted to, like, see where that went, but he didn't do it. I mean, he had so many attackers on this, so I don't know why he didn't do it, but it's all good. It all works out for me. So then I decided to take hope. I was hoping that he would take with his pawn right here, that way I can move my bishop up. Then once I move my king up, it's game over. Checkmate. He decides to attack my king. I'm not sure if he like saw through all my ideas or not, but I don't know. So now I just go ahead and go with the plan. Forcing the king to move. Move my pawn up. Forcing him to move again. He doesn't really have anywhere he can go. And whenever the king has only one move that he can go, you really know that you're dominating him right now. So that's always a good sign. So I decided to take freeing up this file so I can eventually bring my rook here to set up a really deadly trap. He decides to take with his knight. Now I put my bishop to f4, putting more pressure on this king, you know, really preventing him from going anywhere. Right now he can't move at all. Okay, now he moves his knight, and I decide to take with my queen. That way, if I take with my bishop, the rook can't kill it. Now here's where the game... Okay, first he checks me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm kind of winging this right now. Um, he brings his bishop here, so I just move. 
Then he moves his knight. Now the whole the whole idea of me bringing my rook here is to kind of force his queen to do you know force. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later, but force something to happen. So that knight is very annoying right now. Now, I also would love to um. Okay, you'll see what happens. Sorry. <laughs> so I now that I now that knight's no longer defended, I go ahead and take. He threatens my queen. I move my bishop. Now here's where the game gets interesting. Okay, finally. So now that he brings his uh, knight here, I would love to be able to take my queen and take the knight, and that would put him in checkmate um, once I do a few more moves. But the thing is, is that I really can't do that right now because of that bishop. So what I do is actually sacrifice a rook, which is very uncommon. He has to take this. If he doesn't take my rook, he's going to lose. Uh, his queen, anyway. So... He does this, and now it's game over. Because this is the trap I've oh, I've done before, and I couldn't believe I got to do it again. So right now, he can only move in one place. Well, he could move over here, but then it would have been really good for me. Um, So he moves there, and now I'm in my rook here. He only has one move, unless he wants to sacrifice a piece. He moves there, and now the grand finale, the bishop to e5 completely annihilates the king he can't go anywhere the only place he can go right now is or the only thing he can do right now is sacrifice pieces is what he does now i have him again in checkmate he has to take with his queen or else it's game over so i take and now i take and now i'm just going to chase him into checkmate all right um hopefully you guys liked it i thought it was a pretty interesting trap i actually have uh, done that before and uh I'm not sure if it's called anything, but anyway, I hope you guys learned something. All right, goodbye.